Hey X-Air fans, Brian Farno here to show you how to clean and rebuild your X-Air reversible drum back. You'll need the following items, proper personal protection equipment, some form of marking device in the straight edge, some stiff bristle brushes, soft grip safety air guns, always good to have handy, some shop rags, a pipe wrench or a large adjustable wrench, a strap wrench, a pin wrench, your dirty RDV unit, and a solution of mild degreaser or detergent with some hot water. For this video I use dish soap. First and foremost, ensure you have the proper safety equipment and you are wearing it. Then you'll want to clean the stem using a stiff bristle brush to get the float as clean as possible. Next you'll need the strap wrench and the pipe wrench to remove the muffler assembly from the body. Loosen the muffler counterclockwise from the body, removing it and then let it soak in the solution. Soak the body also, then scrub it thoroughly everywhere possible. You'll want to make sure there's no oils or grease on the surfaces because you need to mark this surface in order to properly reassemble it. Using your straight edge, mark a line from the hex portion of the body onto the round plug that is at the opposite end of the stem. This is so we can reset the drum back close to the same flow rate as it was when you received it. Using the pin wrench and the adjustable wrench, remove the plug from the body. Soak the plug and then lightly tap the body to remove the shim. Be careful not to bend the shim if you don't have a new one to install. Allow the shim and the plug along with the body of the unit to soak for a little while to loosen any debris. Then clean each piece individually thoroughly to ensure that all debris has been removed from any critical areas. When cleaning the shim, ensure that you do not deform the piece. With the, all the units clean, you may then dry them off with a rag or a soft grip safety air gun. Then move on to cleaning the muffler assembly. On the muffler, it's critical that you ensure all the ports on the bottom of the unit are free of debris. A stiff bristle brush or a soft grip safety air gun work excellent to do this. With all the pieces dry, you can begin reassembly. Install the shim with the bevel facing up just as it was removed. Then install the plug and hand tighten it to the body. You will then need to use the wrenches to line the two pieces back up as they were before you disassembled them. With the pieces in line, you may then reassemble the muffler to the body. This does not need to be a wrench tight fit. You can simply hand tighten the muffler onto the unit for proper operation. You will then want to ensure that the fill and empty knob functions properly along with the float moves freely. This fairly simple procedure can make your reversible drum back run like new. If you don't want to try it yourself or you want a professional to do it, just contact an application engineer and we'll walk you through the process to send the unit back to us. After we're done rebuilding the unit, not only will it operate just as a new unit would, but it will also look just like a brand new unit. Thank you, and have a great day.